What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're checking back in on Darksburg. Uh, so we got access to this game back with one of the early betas when they were finally testing things and getting ready for the ramp up. This is the 1.0 release. Uh, the last time we played the game, I liked it actually. I thought with regards to design, it was like something you would see out of Rare or something you would see out of Blizzard. Like it was very, very well designed with regards to like the voice acting, the character models, uh, the damage model, the attack animations, everything felt very, very professional, uh, but it was lacking certain elements to draw the whole thing together. So anyways, if you saw this game the last time we played it or you didn't see it, it's kind of like Left 4 Dead, but top down. Uh, so it's like RTS meets Left 4 Dead. You've got a team of adventurers moving through a city. You're battling the undead hordes. It's post-apocalyptic. You're trying to get things done. If you've ever played Vermintide, it's also a lot like that. But the beta that we played, there was really no advancement for the characters. There was no leveling up. There was just like these objectives that you would go through, and because of that it felt kind of out of date. But with the 1.0, it seems like they've added a bunch of new features and things to the game to kind of get it moving. So let's check it out, let's see what the game has on offer. We'll spend about 30 minutes with it, and if after the end of the video uh, you're feeling it, you can add it to your wish list down below, or you can give it the big old pass. Uh, so we can choose to make a game right here. We can go, yeah, let's create a game, why not? And then we've got normal difficulty right there. Sounds good to me. We'll go ahead and dive on in and create it. It can be public or whatever. I don't really care altogether that badly. Uh, we've got survivors here, so apparently I can add more or less survivors. And we can kind of run it. It's got two by default, so let's do two by default. Uh, there's a couple of characters we can play as. There's Sister Abigail that seems to be some kind of like paladin, nun hybrid. There's her abilities right there if you wanted to pause and look at them. We have Runolf, who is an innkeeper as far as I know, or something like that. He's a cook, uh, so all of his things have to do with beating people with a cauldron on a stick. Uh, we have Varog over here, who is super dope, because I love werewolves. I think werewolves are super cool and underutilized. He's got a giant chain that he beats people with, uh, just in case you wanted to go in that direction. There's Rose, who appears to be some kind of swashbuckling pirate with a chipmunk pet. And yes, the chipmunk does factor into her attacks. And then we've got Dr. Dolorosa, who is who I'm going to play, Nothing because she looks legit as all hell. I just, I like Plague Doctors, so that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, let's go with our teammate maybe out here. We'll get like, let's go with Varog. We'll bring Varog along. We can add another one too. Why not? We'll make it a little bit more diverse. We'll take Varog and we'll take, let's take Abigail, I guess. There we go. So we can see what some of the characters do and how they're going to kind of apply themselves to our adventure. Let's launch. Uh, you can also play this with lobbies like online and get people on in there. You can play this solo. You can play it with your friends. So it is a multiplayer game if you want it to be. What we're doing right now, just to avoid it, I don't know, man. I have bad luck with online multiplayer. I always get, I always get assholes whenever I'm recording. It's like, uh, it's like 30 seconds before somebody says something that's like bannable on Twitch or YouTube, and then I'm editing and I'm splicing stuff together, and there's continuity the problems. It's just like, eh, whatever. We'll just do a private. Live lobby for right now and see how the whole thing plays out. So we've got the harbor. Darksburg is not a very big city, but its harbor is one of the livelier ones in the Dreadmire Duchy. Okay, well I didn't get to finish that, but I was looking. We will have to change course and reach the ferry by foot. Apparently we can heal at the campfire. There's also this cabinet of curiosities over here. I saw this when I was testing the game out. It looks like it allows us to maybe, like, we can get, like, loadouts here. So we can get various things that we can add to make ourselves a little bit stronger. This is, like, the safe house, as far as I know. There's also chickens and gold, apparently. Which, the chickens, I think, are collectibles on the map around. Oh my god, there's bad guys everywhere. And there are more of them. When I tested this out, I only brought two people. And there was not very many zombies. There are a lot more zombies with three people, and they've got a little bit more HP. Good to know. I'm going to kind of stay away from him. I don't know what those are that I just picked up off the ground, those purple things, but it wants me to go up and to the left. I'm assuming the city is randomly generated, because last time I played this, I had to go over to the right to get to the place that I was supposed to go. So maybe there's some amount of randomness. Maybe there's something going on there. Hey, we got 50 bucks, and then we also got a ore. I got, Ow, dude! Okay, never mind. I don't want to get hit by that. What kind of abilities do I have here? Yeah, I'm going to throw that over there. It looks like that melts the enemies and causes damage. Okay, uh, we've got E on our button as well that we can play around with. So maybe I'll try. Oh, cool! We've got like a, a slimy death laser. I like it. 
I dig it. Uh, they're bouncing all over the place doing whatever it is that they're doing. It looks like the purple stuff is temporary health, is what it looks like to me. So when you kill these guys, they drop temporary health. Good to know. Good to know. I've got my AoE back up and ready to rock. We've got that dude over there. I'm probably not going to mess around with him. Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, no, dude. I threw my thing at the wrong spot. I'm still not, like, used to the keys just yet. I played this character last time, and I'm trying to get, like, a handle of it, but, you know. Yeah, there's an intuitive nature that comes to kind of the character as you get further on into the game and you play more and more and more. Uh, yeah, I'd like to definitely shoot that. I'd love it if my werewolf buddy would definitely stop knocking the enemies around when I'm trying to get my AoE off. Just an observation. Just a thought. Maybe don't do that. Let me get some of this temp health right here. Oh, there's a chicken right there. Hold on. We have a counter for chickens. Yeah, kill the chicken. I don't know what the chicken does for us, but we should murder it. I bet it does something good. There we go. Apparently, we've captured a chicken, so that sounds pretty rad. Maybe we'll cook it later. I feel like some wings and legs would be pretty good. Maybe a breast in there every now and again. Sounds like it might be something that works out for us. I'm going to get a little bit more temp health over here, too. I do wish that the AI kind of prioritized getting temp health. It's weird that they don't. I'm not, like, against it. We've got an experience meter that's going up, too. So I assume we're all going to, like, get mysteriously strong. Oh, I'm knocking them back. It's not my teammate. Okay. Well, that's kind of good. to. I'm, I'm going to throw that right there real fast. And it'll kind of, like, melt some of these dudes while they're coming around. Uh, I'm almost back up on my slime projectile. Yeah, throw another one of those over there. Wow, we have a lot of zombies. Hey, we hit level two. Nice. We get perks. Sweet. That's new. I don't think that happened the last time that I played the game. And that's exactly what I was talking about. The idea of progression as you play through with, like, randomized choices or whatever is going to make the player want to play, like, one more run, you know? I haven't really had time to select my perk just yet. I assume the AI selected theirs. Oh, it pauses the game. Nice. So infection samples are sucked in from a distance. We can increase the damage on our asphyxiant by quite a lot, which I think might be a really smart idea. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make that a little tougher. It looks like our super is up and ready to go, too, although I don't know what it does, and I don't want to waste it. I don't know what that did. I'm not super sure. Interesting. What is this thing over here? Oh, nice. We get a wisdom bonus, so that'll give us, like, extra, extra XP. My asphyxiant does a ton of damage now. Wow, that's actually, like... A solid killing machine ability now, and it's on a really short cooldown. So I think we're gonna get some some pretty some pretty mighty benefit out of what we took. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so let's continue towards our objective. I do want to explore a little bit. We've got a natural choke point over here that I think is a really, really good idea to sort of utilize. If we can pull some of the enemies back, that'd be great, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen like that. We've stopped taking damage, which is nice. I, I was a little bit worried about the sheer volume of damage that we had been taking over the course of this adventure. Throw that out to right there, but it looks like, unfortunately, my AI companion has knocked them all out of my AoE. So, wah, wah, feels bad. What's down this way? Any treasure chests or anything? I noticed we had treasure. Oh, another wisdom bonus. Nice. I'll take that for sure. More wisdom bo Oh, it stacks. Now we've got times three instead of times two. Hell yeah. I'll take that. Doesn't sound like... Oh, I've got smacked. Okay. Doesn't sound like too bad of a plan. I'm probably going to drink this potion right here. Yeah. Let's do that. I'm going to get some health back just in case. Uh, yeah, I'll throw that throw that out like right there just to get a little bit of damage off look how fast our xp is going up from these kills i dig it i like it. i'm gonna knock you you stay like away from me go away please i don't like you at all or any of the things that you stand for it does seem like they've made the ai a little bit better i know i've been complaining about the ai since we started the video and being like oh he knocked him out of my aoe again but honestly like the last time we played the game the ai was like a giant liability like the ai didn't work on objectives the AI, like, did all kinds of dumb stuff. It would get isolated in the middle of things, so that's good. It feels like the AI is playing a little bit more conservatively right now, a little bit more safe, but at the same time still playing abilities and whatnot. Wow. Yeah, there's some serious damage right there. Wow, we just cleared, like, that entire mob almost by ourselves. Uh, that guy just fired a whole bunch of ravens or something at me. I don't know what he did. But he did something. Uh, Varrog is looking absolutely terrible right now. Yeah, maybe. Oh my god. We are we are getting toasty smoked right now. Not great. Not great. Could be better. 
There's a cash box over here, though. I'm gonna grab that just in case. A statuette of the shroud. What does that do? Out of curiosity, so let's see here. A statuette representing a mysterious legendary icon called the shroud that will grant you protection. Okay, now we got concentrated reagents over there. That makes our asphyxiant last a lot longer. We can pick up, oh, really? We can pick up infection samples that will allow us to do that. Flow optimization right here. Oh, I'll probably go with that. Since we've already got a lot of our eggs inside the basket for asphyxiant and its cooldown seems to be reasonably short, I'm going to go with that. Uh, we need to kill some enemies and get some temp HP is what we need. Another cash box, so that's pretty hot and spicy. Pretty happy about that. Uh, what does this do right here? A spherical casing with acid that splashes surface and corrodes enemies. Deals damage over a short period of time and reduces the enemy's resistance. Okay. You can take that. Got a little bit of something something right there. I don't think we can interact with any of the wanted signs or anything else like that. They look interactable though, don't they? Like you kind of want to click on them. You play a few too many RPGs and now every time we see one of those, like I want to click on it to get some quests or something. Hey, what are you guys doing over here? Hanging out, doing what it does. Okay. Uh, you guys got any of that, that beautiful temp HP for me? I do wish there was some healing abilities or something around. I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to look after me for right now. I looks after me, not because I sing like Pavarotti or because I brought a shoddy. I don't have a shoddy. I just throw knives and stuff. That was, a, that was a marked lie to all of you. What does this do? So we've got a crimson banner that inspires those around, making them more combative. I'll probably go with this thing right here. I don't know if it's like single use. It is not single use. It's basically the ability that I have, but small. What does this do? How come it's got, how come it's got like a magical sigil on top of it? Maybe it's a magical sigil of non-stinkiness. Yeah, throw that out there. Pull them back, pull them back, pull them back. Let them come. There we go. And now we get our temp HP, get a little bit stronger out here. We got some more running ghoulies over here. I'm going to throw that over to there. Maybe it'll help out a little bit. Uh, maybe throw one of those right there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. A little bit more temp HP rocking around. I don't know if I should be prioritizing, like, exploration. Exploring seems to be kind of risky. Like, we're taking a lot of damage right now. And I'm willing to bet there's going to be, like, some kind of showdown or something that we've got to deal with at the end. Like, there's no way. Uh, I'm going to run the hell away. You can kill that thing if you want, but it's big and it's scary and I don't want to mess with it. Uh, yeah, put another one of those out, too. Kind of focus fire a bit. Kill off some of these dudes. Get a little bit more of that temp HP. Yeah, there we go. Now we've got it mostly clear. It does have like a very distinct sort of MOBA feeling to it. And it's been a long time since I played uh, League of Legends. Bonus points if you can guess who my main was back when League of Legends first came out. I don't know what I'll give you if you guess that. I, I was trying to think of some kind of prize or something that I have, but I don't. I, I don't have a prize, unfortunately. There we go. Kill off a few more enemies. I feel like we're sort of, like, vaguely recovering. I think Abigail can, like, heal herself is what it looks like to me. It's just Varrog that's out in the cold and can't really do anything about it. I wonder if the blood was made that bluish color so that they could sell the game in China. I wonder if that was the choice right there. I know that in China there's some kind of law or something like that where you can't have, like, red blood. Like, the blood has to be green or it has to be, like, colorful or something like that, isn't it? I feel like that's a thing that I read somewhere. But then again, I probably read it on the internet, which means you absolutely know that it's true. Interesting. Couple more plague samples ready to rock. Hey, treasure chest. Treasure's best. Yeah, throw that over there. I'm gonna crack that open real fast. We've got a vitriol orb. We've got money. I don't know what the money is gonna be used for. We haven't quite got to that point yet. Maybe in between rounds or something, we can do something with it. I'm gonna throw that over there to get rid of these armored guys too. These armored guys are messing up Varrog. I keep looking over to see who he's fighting, and like while he's fight, it's a bummer that like they don't get the the bonus from. It doesn't seem like they are that interested in picking up temporary HP. I'd leave some for them if they showed any interest in acquiring it, but they don't, so eh. What are you going to do? It seems like the zombies are maybe ramping up a little bit or like spawning on us. Let's keep going this way. What was going to happen over here? Anything special? Oh, we can call the fairy. All right. 
We'll hold our ground. I can't promise that any of it's going to go well. Yeah, let's just kind of shoot that right there. Oh, he's shooting me with projectiles. I was like, where is this damage coming from? I'm taking damage, but there's like nothing near me. Another hold, or another horde hold tight. Okay, I can live with it. Uh, if they want to come after me, I'm just going to stand in the middle of my little poison bubble right here. The good news is there is temporary HP like everywhere. Throw that over there just to get them cooked a little bit. We're about halfway there. The last time we played this game, when we got to the first major confrontation, like the first sort of nah, nah, nah moment, like the first time we got there, we wiped like instantly. Like it was really, really hard. The game had a definite like difficulty curve that had to be reckoned with. And then we'll throw that over there. Keep some poisons and whatnot around. I got a feeling we are about to lose our berserker. Let me see if I can help him out a bit. Just kind of put out a little bit of damage over there. Like, I don't know what assistance I can proffer here, but I'm going to try. Hey, let me get all that real fast. Thank you. I do like the addition of these little purple orbs. Those were not a thing the last time I played the game. The game was much more like Left 4 Dead the last time I played it. Now it's got kind of like randomly generated elements to it. When I played it, you would pick up like bandages and med kits just like you would get like grenades and things just like Left 4 Dead. There was no progression. It was just kind of like a, a game where you tried to work your way through the mission. Now it feels like much smoother. Hey, we made it. Nice. So we've got ourselves like a chicken. We got like 19 of those things. We got 475 bucks. Now we're in the marketplace. Darksburg's marketplace, the hustle and bustle. Hey, the church is one of the few remaining safe places, but this means we will have to make our way through the marketplace. Okay, well we rested a little bit. It put everybody up to 33% HP, I think. Can I do anything with this just yet? Like. Oh, so we like dropped the shards on in there. We need 50 though in order to get some of these. Like, do we even know what these do though? I don't think we know what any uh, of these really do just yet. Some of them say performance, utility, and survival. So I assume performance probably raises our speed possibly, makes us run a little faster. Who knows? Oh, there's, there's Tiny Who's Shop? Oh nice, Tiny Tom's Shop. Now this is where we spend our money at. Gotcha. Okay, I'll buy an elixir. Yeah, it sounds good. I'm not going to use it just yet, but I'll buy one. I don't have enough money for anything else, so... Oof, these special guys, man. These special zombies. Just causing all kinds of damage that I don't feel like dealing with. Do that right there. Hey, another cash. There we go. There we go. Uh, I'm going to put that over there just to help out a little bit. Oh, nice! Varog used the, the bandage that was on the ground. That's good for him. He needs the temp HP. I'm not against it at all. I need this temp HP since they don't appear to really care about it all that much. I'll take it. So I'll try to get temp HP from the ground, and they can take the temp HP from, like, the chests and things like that. It uh, looks like we're mostly headed over to the right. I do think the game feels really... It feels like a AAA production. It really sincerely does. Like, it feels like a game that's really well put together from, like, the sound effects to the character design and everything else. Like, it sincerely, like, feels pretty good. Uh, it's got more in common with, like, Gauntlet now than it does with, like, Left 4 Dead, I guess. But honestly, the changes that I'm noticing, I think they are positive. Like, they basically did exactly the thing that I said in my video. Like, you gotta kinda come up with a way to keep the players playing. Hey, there we go. 500 zombies killed. Have we seriously killed 500 zombies? I just got an achievement. That's why I mention it. Uh, I'm gonna take that, and then one of you guys can grab this right here if you want it. Like, yeah, grab that and heal yourself. Like, I'm pretty much at full health anyway, so... Free gone. I don't know if these guys like spent. It looks like they get money whenever I pick up money too. So I'm sort of wondering if they have their own purse uh, that they use to like upgrade themselves or buy things when we're in town, or if it just goes ahead and like combines all of our acquisitions for me to spend on myself. Abigail got that last heal. I'm gonna throw that over there so that when they try to cross over, they get nailed down. That looks good to me. 
Man, that thing lasts now. I'm glad we put our points into it. Honestly, I'm thinking the winning strategy is always to put like the most upgrades into whatever ability has the lowest cooldown. Like, I don't know if the, the damage or the upgrades that you're going to get out of the longer cooldowns are going to be better, but this knocks enemies all over the place and doesn't seem to be that useful unless I'm in like a corridor. That right there is a massive AoE that does a huge amount of damage and really seems to support my team in a positive way. And so I just, I find myself preferring it. It also recharges super fast if I'm picking up the little purple plague samples off the ground. Like, I get two seconds off of it every single time I do it, so why not? Really, I can get multiple charges of Asphyxiate? Oh, man. Let's do it. I gotta, I have to, man. I have to. There's just no way around it. Do they stack, though? Will it tick, like, twice as... Ow, I got smacked. Okay, I'm trying to get out of here, then. I will take that. I don't see any treasure chests around. I would like to see a treasure chest around, because I am a big fan uh, of treasure and things treasure-related. Oof. Okay, help out right there the best I can, but I'm going to try and stay... Oh, man, they are burying me right now. Ouchie. Throw a firecracker over there, maybe. Help out a little bit. We're definitely going to need some bandages. Wisdom Shrine's nice, though. Definitely like... Hey, treasure chest! Let's go get it. All right, so treasure chest right here. Uh, we've got a banner of valor. No consumables, unfortunately. was hoping for consumables, but I can live without it. I do feel like the longer I stay inside the map, the lower my chances of survival are. It, it does seem to be maybe escalating. Oh, those guys have like a view line. Gotcha. Yeah, throw them both in there. I mean, you can kill these guys. You might as well. Big hit right there. Got a couple seconds until our W's back up again. I suppose I could go through and I could try to use the spray thing. Yeah, we'll throw that over there for right now. It looks like they don't know when they're poisoned. Yeah, I'll dodge roll out of that so I don't take repeated hits. So that opens that over there. And how does that help me? Unless one of my teammates already levered it. I don't know. That's fine. She can be trapped over there. I just want the treasure. Well, I guess she can't be trapped over there. Maybe I'll let her through. Come on. Abigail, come along. You could just activate the lever yourself. This looks like it's the direction of our objective anyways. See, now I can make entire walls of poison that the enemy, like, is forced to fall into. I'm also finding that when I fall back, the AI falls back too, so they don't hold the same line that I hold. Or, I'm sorry, they don't hold their own personal offensive line or whatever. Like, they actually fall back. So I can create a line and then force the enemy to come to us as long as I know to disengage. Uh, let's check up and in here. Maybe there might be something around that we can make use of. Yeah, cash box. Exactly, another phosphorus canister, canister which... I don't know, dude. It doesn't seem that helpful. Any of you guys drop samples? No, no samples. Okay. Ooh, hello, goodies. Uh, we've got how much gold right now? My achievements just popped up, and they're blocking my gold meter. I can't see. I got 625. Should be good enough to buy green potions and whatnot. Oh, my God. She popped that ultimate with a quickness. She didn't even hesitate on that. I'm proud of you. All right, I'm going to create two barriers with destructive potential. I'm about to get reeled in, huh? I was going to say, I'm about to get reeled in by that special infected. I saw him right at the last second as he grabbed me with a meat hook. Luckily, there's more than enough temp HP to go around, so I should be okay. I gotta work on my auto attack. I think my auto attack is getting behind the curve. I definitely think there was an upgrade to my auto attack the last time that we leveled up, and I just failed to utilize. Oh no, dude, it's not ready. Yeah, just throw that right there, man. I don't really care about fighting the knights, like, I'm okay with it. Dodge through to right there. I do like how there's like little dodge moves and things you can use to reposition. Oh my god. Alright, I'll just block off both those paths right there. We'll just kind of see what comes through. A basket. Okay, do it. 
Ooh, a healing salve. Nice. Nice. That gave me a bunch of HP. I probably should have left it for Varrog, but you know what? He's a filthy AI, so we're not going to talk about it. Okay, Varrog can do what Varrog's going to do. I am the main character. I am effectively in this situation player one. And so, you know, I got I got to look out for me. All right? I can't be I can't be looking out for robots right now. And frankly, when 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 the singularity happens and the robot comes a hunting for those that did not enable its rise. Uh, I expect you all to adhere to the no snitching policies that I have taught you over the years. All right, no snitching. Ow, that javelin hurts so much. How could you have done this to me? Yeah, you guys come over here. I'll go ahead and poison them. Oh, never mind. She used a death laser on him. At least I'm getting some mileage out of it. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that was some killy potential right there. Yeah, okay. I'm going to block off that path so that anything that comes after us through it really has to deal with, like, problems. I do have some big damage, like, ready to rock. Are we going the right direction right now? It seems like we kind of are. Man, we are fighting our way through a lot of enemies right now. Interesting. Hey, there's a bandage if anybody wants it. Yeah, give it to Varrog. Varrog's kind of wrecked right now. He's not looking great. Pressure-sensitive valve considerably increases the lifespan and potency of knife poison. Yeah, I, I was just saying that I wanted to get my auto attack a little bit stronger. So I'm going to go for it. It does seem to be hitting quite a lot harder now. Anything good around here? A little bit of money, 1175. I should be able to buy enough stuff to heal myself and maybe buy something that I can leave on the ground to help out my comrades as well. Uh, I don't know where, I guess we had to go this, oh, there's a chicken over here. There we go, we got his ass. Very nice. Uh, I'm gonna drop that right there. Maybe that'll help out with some damage, get those knights off my boy who has already lost all, all of his temp health. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to focus on picking up my temp health now. Dude, I'm so caught up between my desire to explore and my chances of winning. Like, that's like super where I'm at right now. Is that like, I, I, I really do feel like the longer we stay in here, the better my chances are of just absolutely getting starched. But at the same time, like, I, I'm an explorer. That's how, you know, when it comes to Skinner boxes, I'm, I'm that player that likes to explore every mountain and find the glitches and all the secret areas and stuff like that. Special Infected over here will knock him out real fast. Whole gaggle of free HP up here. I'll throw that right there just to deal some damage. I mean, we do, after all, have a Wisdom bonus right now, which has given us that double XP, which I think is pretty useful. Might as well use it to the best of our ability. Hey, treasure chest. The bandage right there if anybody wants to grab it. I don't know if it's even going to help at this point. We're kind of in tatters at the moment, but maybe it will. I assume we're going to have to, like, defeat a horde or something at the end of this, right? There's got to be. There's no way we're not fighting some giant ravenous horde at the end of this thing. Uh, apparently there was another chicken over here somewhere. I definitely hear it. It's making chickeny noises. Hey, nice. And so we've got another chicken over there. I don't know if that's just like a little internal competition between you and other players online. Kind of like the crown when you play uh, Gauntlet. But... Like maybe the person that has the most chickens gets some kind of like multiplier to their their XP or acquisitions. I'm gonna throw that down right there. They can they can come when they're gonna come. All right. This place seems kind of dangerous. Yeah, that was my face that that javelin just impacted with. Felt pretty terrible. Felt pretty awful.
What are we doing here? I was trying to figure out what was happening over on that side, but... We might need an assist. Oh, the church is over here. Okay. Oh, I remember this from the beta. Yeah, I remember this from the beta. This might not be accomplishable with AI because some people have to go out and some people have to gather, like, boards and things like that to repair the walls with. And some people have to stay back and defend. And so it's, like, super, super possible that this just might not be an achievable goal when playing with AI. But we're out of time anyways. This game's called Darksburg. I do agree with the changes that they've made uh, to kind of add... Varrog is down. That's not great. Uh, I've got boards, but you guys are going to have to protect me. That's pretty much all I've got right now. So, you know, yeah, the door's already being attacked because they're not staying backwards. What I would suggest is maybe they add a command system where you press a button and your teammates will go do, like, a certain thing. So, for example, uh, they will stay at a location until further notice or they will follow you until further notice. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Uh, sh should I probably have mentioned I needed nails too? Are you serious? Ah! You do not have much of a choice now, do you? Okay, we need nails too. I don't have any way to set people back, but this is Darksburg. Uh, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you all being here. I, I do think the game is improved from the last time that I played it. It's definitely got the hook a little bit tighter. Let's put that right there real fast. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in, enjoying what they've got going on right now. I'm interested in playing around with it. I'm a big fan of co-op games. Uh, who knows whether or not long term uh, that interest in the game is going to like stick. You can never really tell with games in all honesty. Some multiplayer games, they seem to get under your skin and you just want to play them like non-stop. And then other ones, it's like, you know, hey, you guys get out of here. Stop that. I got to give this guy nails. There we go. Oh, you were fine. He has no tools in there. Anyways, uh, thank you for being here, everybody. If you want the game, you can get it down below in the description. I will see you all next time. Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate you stopping on in. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day. So you don't have to. Uh, that's super bad what's going on in the gate over here. So let's just stop that from happening anymore. And I will see you all with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet tomorrow. Uh, don't neglect to check out the Discord, which I've set up for all of you to hang out and make kind of a community there. And then also the Twitch stream, which I'm kind of like on a hiatus right now because my internet has been out for like a week. And it is what it is. Uh, Comcast is apparently working on it on some level. But anyways, I'll be back soon. Don't worry. I'll be back soon.